2023 CR 0684 State of Texas versus Demetric Deshaun Jackson. Can I have parties announced for the record for the state? Travis Banks for the state of Texas. Defense. All right, Lara Garza for the defendant. All right, you entered a plea on April 19th of no contest and you applied for probation and you entered a plea on the offensive assault, family choking, strangulation. Uh, punishments be assessed at a cap of seven years. The state opposes your application. Have both parties had a chance to review the PSI report? State? Defense? I have your honor. All right. Uh, state, do you have any witnesses? State has no witnesses. No. Defense, any witnesses? Just my client, Charlie. All right. Can you raise your right hand for me, please? Do you solemnly swear or affirm the testimony you give will be the truth and nothing but the truth? So help you, God? Yes, ma'am. All right. State your name for the record. Demetri Jackson. All right. You can lower your hand. Defense? Please state your uh, name for the record. Dimitri Jackson. Okay. Dimitri, uh, you've applied for probation in this case, is that correct? Yes, sir. Okay. Can you tell the court why you think you should be getting probation? Uh, I'm very determined of a second chance, uh, and I want to be more helpful for my kids. Uh, wow. It helped me stay more focused while I'm, while, I'm, while I'm trying to rebuild what I lost for my kids. Okay, this was an incident that, that occurred, and uh, I believe you told me it was purely an accident, correct? Yes, sir. Did you have any relationship for this woman? No, sir. Wait a minute. I'm sorry. Okay. How's an act? I mean, he's pled to uh, assault choking, is that correct? That's correct. I don't understand how assault choking is accidental. Oh, you're talking to me? Yes, I mean, because oh, you're saying it was an accident. I don't know how you choke someone accidentally. Oh, no, it was a misunderstanding. I mean, it was, it was a misunderstanding. How is choking someone a misunderstanding? And, and mind you, I'm just trying to figure out what you're trying to tell me. Yes, ma'am. So I don't understand how choking someone is an accident or how choking someone is a misunderstanding. Now, if somebody said, choke me, and you thought you heard them say choke me, and then you proceed to choke them, I can understand, oh, that's a misunderstanding. I thought you were telling me to choke choke you, but you didn't. So I'm trying to figure out where you're coming from. If you're referring to the whole incident, is yes. that correct? Yes, ma'am. You're referring to the incident, correct? Yes, ma'am. Okay. And uh, did you have any kind of relationship with this woman? No, I didn't. Okay. How did this come about? Did she feel that she uh, she was she had a relationship with you, or what? Can you explain that to the court. Uh, we was working on a business plan, and uh, I guess our feelings got more in, in tune. And she was trying to be more than what 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 what, what I was trying to be not that more. So. I'm sorry, I can't understand what you're saying. I said, uh, we was working on a business plan, business, a business deal, and uh, I guess her feelings got more involved in it. She was trying to carry on a, a relationship, you know, a business a business relationship with her. So, I mean. I feel like what she was talking to her son, like, I mean, I didn't. I, Uh -huh. And if the court puts you on probation, uh, how do you think this will help you, you help your family? It allowed, it allowed me to reveal what, what was taken away from me, what was like literally robbed of me. So, you know, it's the steps I have to take, I mean, for, for me to be out here with my kids. I mean, I do whatever I have to take. I mean, I promise my kids that, that I would, I would give them a reminder of my years. I mean, your dedication to them than what I've given them in the past. No further questions. Um, so you said that um, this was all a misunderstanding. And I was reading in the PSI that you also said she did it to herself. Um, 
did you did you recall telling the PSI person that that she did the choking to herself? Yes, I didn't. I didn't touch her. I mean, okay. So you're it's your position that she choked herself. Yes. Okay. Um, and uh, you told the the uh, tap evaluation officer that you smoked eight blunts on a daily basis. Do you recall telling them that? I used to. Do you still smoke eight blunts on a daily basis? No, sir. Okay. And um, do you think you have a, a drug problem or any drug treatment? No, sir. Okay. And um, have you been on probation before? Yes, sir. Have you always completed your probation successfully? Yes, sir. Okay, so you've never been, never had to have your probation extended? I was on probation one time, I don't think so. You've only been on probation once? Yes. Yeah. So you were, were you put on probation in 1995 for assault bodily injury? No, sir. No? No, sir. So if the PI, PSI says that you were, is that correct or incorrect? Incorrect. Okay. And you weren't put on probation in 2004 for possession of uh, controlled substance, PG1, 1 to 49? So if the PSI says that, the PSI is one. Yes, sir. Okay. And you weren't put on probation for uh, driving while your license was suspended uh, in 2000? Yes. That, that was the time you were on probation? Uh, no, it was in 19, like 1994. Okay. So the 2000 for... I was on parole. I was I went to prison for parole. I was on parole. Which year did you go to prison? Uh, 2000. 2006. But before that, no probation. No probation. Okay. So you were never revoked from probation no, before sir. that. Okay. Um, no further questions. Yet. All right. Any follow up question? No, Your Honor. Rest. All right. The court will hear argument. State. Um, Your Honor, uh, I think according to the PSI, he has been on probation many times. He's been revoked from probation many times. I think he's come to the court and he's misrepresented his, his criminal history. Uh, furthermore, uh, he's minimizing his guilt. He says that he didn't do it. He says it's a misunderstanding. He even told the PSI officer that she choked herself and that any injuries she might have had, she caused to herself. Um, and uh, I will also point out that to the extent that defense tries to argue he had a rough upbringing, he told the PSI officer that his childhood was blessed and um, that uh, he doesn't need any kind of drug treatment. He uh, also said he doesn't see how probation is going to help him, but he'll try. And I think this is someone who uh, doesn't want probation, doesn't want the kinds of services that are available to, to help improve somebody's life while they're on probation. And, and for that reason, the state is asking that you meet the cap at seven years. All right. Defense? No, you can't. All right. If he wants to say something, I'm fine with him saying something. Go ahead. Oh. Uh -huh. When, when he was saying about the, uh, that I wouldn't, it wouldn't help me. I was talking about the treatment in the classes, you know, not as for the probation. The lady had called me again yesterday from the penis side, letting me know that she was typing too fast and some of the words got mixed up. And she called me again yesterday and, and was asking me more questions. Because when I did my PSI, she, she really wouldn't understand what I was saying. Because of course, what she typed on the paper. Okay. All right, defense. Well, Your Honor, uh, I think you, this case has been going on for quite a while. He hasn't been in any further trouble, Your Honor. I, I think this was an this was an incident that occurred because I think the lady thought that she had a relationship with him and he did not want to. Uh, we're asking the court to uh, put him on probation. I believe he. He knows that uh, probation will help him. Uh, he'd like to do what's, what he can to get a job, do what he can for his family, and, and uh, be there for his family. So we're asking the court to place him on probation. All right. Um, Mr. Jackson, I want you to know, I did look at everything. I just don't think that you're a good candidate for probation. Uh, what I'm going to do is find you guilty, and the previous judge found you guilty. I'm going to sentence you to $500 fine, time and money run concurrent. There's an affirmative finding of family violence. There's been no contact with Elizabeth Dahl. Take in consideration 2020 CR 2357, and I'll sentence you to six years in the prison. 
give you credit for any time served. All right, did you review the document entitled um, Trial Court Certification of Defendant's Rights to Appeal with your attorney? Did you understand it? Yes. All right, because this is a plea bargain agreement, because I followed your plea bargain agreement, and because you waive your right to appeal, you do not have the court's permission to appeal. Do you understand? All right, Mr. Jackson, if you want, I can ask that you be referred to the therapeutic community. It does not increase the length of time that you're in custody, but it may be able to help you with any drug issues you may have. Do you understand? Would you like that or no? Yes, I was trying to understand because. All right, thank you. Good luck to you. All right, you entered a plea of no contest on April 17, 2023. Can I have parties announced for the record in cause number 2023-CR3458W, State of Texas versus Robert Roth? Uh, Daniel Escobar from the State of Texas. And James Mayrad for defendant Robert Roth. All right, now you Mr. Roth? Yes. Uh, bro? Roth? Roth. Roth, yes. okay. Thank you. you entered a plea to evading arrest detention with a vehicle. According to the plea bargain agreement, punishment is to be assessed at four years in the prison and the state is opposing your application. Did you have a chance to review the PSI report uh, yes, with your attorney? Yes, I did, Your Honor. All right, uh, state, any objection to the PSI report? No, Your Honor. Defense, any objection to the PSI report? No. All right, the uh, state is opposed. Does anyone have any witnesses, state? State doesn't have any witnesses. Defense? No witnesses. All right, then the court will hear argument. Uh, judge, the facts of this case are very concerning. Uh, he was speeding in a neighborhood. BCSO attempted to pull him over. After a very short chase, the, only, the defendant did wreck out going at a very high excessive speed. He was driving a motorcycle. Uh, that's how BCSO was able to apprehend him. Uh, I will point out that the defendant does have a prior felony case where he did get three years for adjudication. That was back in 1998. Uh, that probation was revoked. Um, and then other than that, he has recent felony history that's coming out of Wilson County, just unlawful possession of firearm by a body. All right, defense. Um, after reading the PSI, it appears that the PSI leans towards if probation is granted at this court, that the, that the PSI leans toward a inpatient uh, treatment at a status facility. Um, And I think it leaned towards that on a belief that it, it, it found that Mr. Roth does, does not acknowledge that he has a drug problem. I think Mr. Roth would like to make one statement to the court that he does acknowledge that he does struggle with drug dependency problems. He is um, taking steps before being arrested, before being in custody. He was taking steps to acknowledge, to, to take care of those problems of drug dependency. Um, and um, he was hoping to continue his progress on an outpatient basis. But likewise, he's listened to many PSIs as come before the court this afternoon, and he would be, um, um, he would like to engage as well in a drug court program if the court thinks that would be uh, a better uh, solution for this period. Um, we ask the court to, he does have stable housing, stable employment. All right, so was this motorcycle stolen that he wrecked? Because that's what I'm reading in the police report. At that place, no, ma'am, I did not know that by perspective. I was working at a job in Lockdale. All right, you want to raise your right hand? Do you solemnly swear or affirm the testimony you give will be the truth and nothing but the truth? So help you God. Yes, we are. All right, you can lower your hand. What were you saying? I was saying that at that point in time, I was working in it. Me and my my brother, he had purchased the bike from somebody else, and he wanted a different bike, so we did a trade out of work. I've been running that that bin and everything on that bike, and it never came up stolen. So that's why. Why I, would you run a bin on a bicycle? On a, on a motorcycle. That way, I was to make sure it wasn't a stolen motorcycle. Why were you uh, speeding? And why didn't you pull over when the police were trying to stop you? Oh, that was just a stupid error on my part. That's just uh, wasn't thinking, wasn't thinking straight with my mind in life, right there. That's a mistake, and I just like uh, I said, yes, I, uh, I, I'm very much sorry for taking up the time and report uh, for this mistake. Of my oh, life. you're not taking up the court's time. I mean, this is what we're here for. Still, I feel ashamed. Counsel, this is yours. You want to come around? Sure. 
Uh, that's uh, poor judgment on my behalf. I apologize for that. How old are you? I'm 50. I just turned 50 years old last week. Okay. Judge Barron. Yes. One quick opportunity. At the time of this case, the evading, uh, you had another pending case. Is that correct? Yes. And isn't it true that you failed to appear at that other court? Here? I was sick on, on, on that, and I tried. And that's what we I went over to that one time. I tried. I was very sick, and I tried to contact the court and the prosecutor's office throughout the court system that whole day long, left, leaving messages to for y'all to to get a he actually asked for a Zoom for that day to get a reset. You know, and that's the honest God truth, bro. Another person. All right, this is what the court is going to do. The court is going to deny your application, find you guilty, sentence you to four years in the prison, give you credit for any time served. There's a $300 fine, time and money will run concurrent. Take in consideration night mag number 699327-2022-CR10345A. I'm going to show you what's entitled Trial Court Certification of Defendant's Rights to Appeal. Did you review that document with your attorney? Did you understand it? And did you sign it? Because this is a plea bargain agreement, because I followed your plea bargain agreement, and because you waive your right to appeal, you do not have the court's permission to appeal. Do you understand? Because this is a felony conviction, you're not allowed to own or possess any weapons or ammunition. If you have a question over what a weapon or ammunition is, you'll need to speak to an attorney. Do you understand? If you would like, because it does say that there are some drug issues, I can recommend the therapeutic community for you. It will not increase the time that you are serving your sentence. If you would like, I could do that. Okay. All right. Thank you. Good luck to you.